So today we're gonna to be showing you some really cool Artillion products that just came out. This is Artillion's brand new stump bucket or trenching bucket. As you can see here, it's a little bit different from their older stump bucket, which is the one that I've had for a while now. I've had this for probably an entire summer and you guys have seen me rip out some massive stumps with this thing. always worked fantastic but Artillion found some ways to improve it which is great for us so here is the new stump bucket and what they've changed on this is they've added some teeth on the side of the bucket here they've laser cut these or CNC cut these right into the side of the bucket which is really awesome they've also added a front tooth bar and it's a removable tooth bar at that so if you end up bending these in any way you could remove these and replace them which is really cool they also are in the midst of designing some other teeth for the front of this bucket as well that are not released yet but they're working on them they're gonna have a flat normal cutting edge like you find on the front of a normal bucket for digging lighter material or for trenching in like sandier ground or just softer ground in general and then they've got these ones that they're going to be shipping out with the bucket itself which is going to be like your standard teeth um, good for trenching good for digging stumps um, just kind of like an all-purpose teeth and then they're also going to be coming out with actual tooth bar tooth bar where you got like these big meaty front teeth on the front of this um, for digging in really rocky or really tough ground um, so that you can break through the ground and uh, get right through it. So that's really cool. It's a really nice upgrade. They've also changed the top a little bit. As you can see here, we've now got a handle on the top of the bucket, which is really cool. Um, they've always had this handle down here in the middle, but now they've also added a handle up top. So when you go to remove this from your fork frame or install it to your fork frame, you can grab a hold of here and put your other hand here and you've got nice secure lifting point for the stump bucket. As you can see on the old stump bucket, they had the handle down in the middle here, but they did not have a handle up top. Um, so I always kind of found it cumbersome to put this on the fork frame and remove it because I had one hand here and my other hand I never really knew where to put it. I usually had to grab like underneath these hooks here or I had to put my hand underneath the base here somewhere. As far as material goes, they have made these out of the same exact material. They used 5 16 hardened steel as this back plate here, just like they did with the old stump bucket. And then they've used quarter inch for the sides and for the bottom plate here. And again, that's hardened steel as well. Aside from that, you can see that they stayed with the same exact design for this bucket because their old design worked. I mean, it worked phenomenally. So I'm really glad that they stuck with the same design. They didn't make it any longer, any wider. Uh, if you look at this side by side, you can see they're identical um, in size and shape, which is awesome because um, I really do like their older stump bucket. Now you guys at the older stump buckets may say, well, I already got the older stump bucket. I really don't want to buy the newer stump bucket, but I really wish I had those teeth. Well, thankfully, Artillion didn't forget about you guys because they have come up with these side teeth for the side of their old bucket that will bolt right in place on your old bucket that'll basically turn it into the newer stump bucket. The only thing you're going to be missing basically is that top handle and these removable teeth in the front. Um, but really, that shouldn't be a deal breaker for any of you. Um, anyone with this older stump bucket, you could easily buy these and they bolt right to the side of the bucket just like so and as you can see here they've used the same exact quality steel as they did with the buckets themselves they've notched and cut these teeth the exact same way that they did on the newer bucket so they're identical now you may notice that my stone bucket already has holes in it and that is because I talked to Artillion and they had actually sent me these um, for testing for them um, so these are actually their prototypes or were their prototypes and I've done extensive testing with these for them and once we've realized how well they work and proven that they're strong enough and that they're durable they went ahead and put these into full production um, so these are now available on their website like I said they're $49 a piece which really isn't a bad deal and it's a really good upgrade for your original stump bucket from Artillion the whole reason we got here in the first place was because I read a lot of your guys's comments about how you guys wish the stump bucket had teeth in the side of it and how that was kind of a deal breaker for a lot of you guys you guys said you really liked the other buckets on the market that had had teeth on the side so you could saw and rip through roots and that was one thing that the artillion stump bucket was always missing as you could see this side edge was always smooth and you could see the paint how it's gone off of mine on the side edges here and how shiny it is and that's because I would always ram this underneath a root kind of like a wedge and I would shove it in there until the pressure built up so high on the root that it would just snap um, but it took a lot more work for the tractor and the loader because before you were just basically using brute strength to push and break through the root well now with these added teeth you could force it underneath the root like that and as you drive back and forth you could actually saw at it and it'll actually rip and tear and saw through the root versus just working the tractor to death to try to break these roots so like i said i read your guys's comments and i actually had emailed artillion and i told them our thoughts and i said that i think it would be a really good idea if they added the teeth to the sides of their bucket so we were having a little conversation on that and he told me that he actually had some prototypes on the shelf because they had already thought of that themselves so these were the prototype teeth that he was talking about as we started talking about it he said why don't i send them out to you 
you and you can do the testing for us so that they can make sure that they're going to work the way that they hope they would and to make sure that they're going to be strong and reliable as well now i've had these on my stump bucket for months which is why you guys haven't seen the stump bucket in any videos for a while as i did all this off camera i did extensive testing with these and they really worked awesome um, i was actually able to saw through the roots just like we had hoped and one of the reasons that they designed these teeth you could see how they're a little bit shorter is because the problem is if you get these teeth too tall or too deep into the steel here um, they could actually bind you up and get you caught up underneath their roots and you'll have a heck of a time trying to cut them so you want serration and you want some teeth on the sides but you don't need them overly tall you just need a little bit to start cutting through that wood and that's exactly what these do also the taller you make the teeth the more prone they are to bending and i assure you these teeth will not bend i really worked it so hard i actually felt bad for the tractor when i was testing these um, thought i was going to break the tractor a few times that's just how hard i was working these i tell you these things are strong they work and i highly recommend these to anybody who's got the older stump bucket who does doesn't want to spend the money to upgrade to the newer bucket. Now this new bucket can be bought for just $429, which I don't think is a bad deal at all. This stump bucket is easily half the price of your typical stump bucket that comes pre-mounted to a coupler. Now that's to say that you already have the artillion fork frame, but if you already have the artillion fork frame, I mean, it's just $429 and you can get yourself into a stump bucket, which is really nice versus buying an entire new implement with the skid steer coupler already on the back and um, you know having to spend that much more money uh, to get the exact same product. So that's one of the reasons I really like the artillion system is once you buy into their fork frame once you buy into their system there's just so much more stuff you can get just like i showed you guys a couple videos ago the fangs that i added to my grapple and the debris guards they're always coming out with new accessories for the current products that they have and i really like the fact that they're now even selling products to update their older products for the guys that already bought them so i think that's really cool by artillion let me go ahead and bolt these teeth on the sides just so you guys can see what it looks like and then we're going to go ahead and test out this new bucket and i'll show you guys what we're going to test it on okay guys so i've got the new teeth bolted up there so this is what it's gonna look like. So it's pretty much gonna mimic exactly what the new stump bucket looks like. So yeah, just basically drilling your holes and mounting up the teeth. Very simple to do, very easy upgrade. So as you guys see here behind me, we've got lots of stumps. Some of these are pretty big. There's a couple smaller ones back here that I might try. Um, and over on this side here, we've got a couple smaller stumps right here that are kind of grouped up together. And then over here, I've got a smaller stump. It's actually a pretty big stump, but it's got like three or four different trees growing out of it. it doesn't look like it's in the ground as deep as some of them other ones. Um, so I might actually end up trying to tackle this one as well today. See how many of these stumps we can get done today. I'd be happy just getting a few of them done before it gets dark here. And hopefully we can give this thing a good testing today. Another thing is that I'm excited to try is I got the weights on the back of my tractor, them added weights. I've got four new suitcase weights that you guys see me install a couple videos ago. So kind of excited to try them out because i'm going to have a lot more ballast in the back now i've increased my hydraulic pressure i don't think i've dug any stumps to you guys since i've done that and also we've got the uh, new axle seals that i did with the new lucas axle fluid in there as well i have been using it around the property and the front axle feels really good so i'm excited to actually give it some hard work today and see how everything holds up let's go ahead and jump on a tractor now i'll get you guys set up over one of these stumps and uh, we'll get digging
right guys, so that stump came out pretty easily. So now we can go ahead and move to this big one here. It's got this massive uh, root coming off of it here. I was gonna end up digging this out in a different video, but I was gonna cut this with a sawzall first because I figured this root would be very hard to get through, uh, especially with the old bucket without the teeth on it. But now we've got teeth on the size of the bucket. I think I can get this uh, bucket right underneath this root here and go back and forth and saw away at it until I can get this thing broke.
that was a big stump for sure. You guys can see the size of that thing. That was definitely one of my bigger stumps that I've done with this tractor. Aside from that humongous cherry tree that I ripped out of my parents' house early in the summer, which I will link that video right here if you guys want to see that one. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty good size stump. Like I said, the base of that is probably, um, you know, 12, 14 inches on the base of it. Diesel's checking it out. You checking it out too? What do you think? What do you think about it? Pretty good? Yeah, you just want to chew on something. That's another big one out of the way. I'm so glad I ain't got to mow around that one because that one was a pain in the butt to mow around. So we've got three stumps out now. This one here, this big one here, and another big one right there. So now we can go ahead and see if we can get this one out. This one's kind of rotted and it's right next to another big tree. I'm sure there's gonna be lots of roots intermingled with it. We'll start digging at this one next and see if we can get it out of the ground. Right, guys well as i sort of suspected this one was pretty rotted so i was able to pluck it right out of the ground i'm glad because like i said i was always backing over that when i was mowing this over here um so now i can clean this up around this tree here and it'll be much easier to mow around this and maintain it because all the weeds just to grow up between that stump and this tree here um so now we got all the stumps that i wanted to over here as you can see all the holes now we can go ahead and start on some of these stumps over here so i think the first one i'm going to tackle is this one right here and I think the only other one I'll probably tackle today is maybe that one over there. This is gonna be kind of tough as well. We've got two stumps in between it. So you know all these roots are tied together. So we'll have to see how this one goes. There's also a smaller stump right next to it. So I'll probably focus on trying to dig this one out first. And then hopefully I can dig this one out immediately after.
Right, guys i finally got that stump out of there this one was definitely the hardest and the trickiest um, working up next to this tree right here was very difficult and this is the greatest slope of the hill because this entire area is a hill coming down here and this is definitely the steepest part um, so that made it kind of difficult and then like i said this tree um, but eventually i was able to work around it and was able to get enough of it broke loose on the stump to uh push it out um, pretty big pretty big stump though um, this one's probably about eight inches in diameter uh, towards the base there it's more like 11 or 10. Yeah we had a really uh, successful day here with the new stump bucket. Pulled out like six or seven stumps um, not including the smaller uh, stumps that were next to them so that worked out really good. The new stump bucket worked fantastic as always. Anything from Artillion I've never been disappointed with any of their stuff. The tractor man just worked awesome with that new uh, diff fluid in the front diff, the increased hydraulic pressure and definitely those suitcase weights on the back those extra four weights that I bought uh, man, what a difference. Uh, no longer lifting the rear end up all the time. I did lift it up a couple times still, um, but it was just one corner. It wasn't the entire rear end. Before digging these stumps out, I was able to lift the entire rear end up multiple times, um, digging them out, where this time, I think throughout all these six, seven stumps, I only lifted the back tire up a couple times, just the one side. Um, so that made a huge difference with traction, made a huge difference with power. And when I was pushing into them, I just had a lot more tractive power. That and the new fluid in the diff, um, definitely helping a lot as well. It's really just a killer setup. And these new teeth on the sides here, I was able to rip through a lot of them huge roots, um, no problem at all. Some of them roots with the old bucket I would have been working on for a long time, um, working the machine a heck of a lot harder as well. Uh, but with these side teeth, I was able to break these big roots and not have to work the machine like crazy. Um, I've got quite a bit of experience now digging stumps with these buckets and I can tell you I noticed an immediate difference using these teeth on the side. I looked at my camera and all these stumps combined it took me only an hour, just over an hour to rip out all these stumps. So six, seven stumps, an hour's time with a subcompact tractor. I mean, you can't beat that. I honestly think that this stump bucket is faster than a backhoe in most cases. Now, when you start getting into some bigger 14 to 20 inch, you know, around stumps like that one there, I think the backhoe would definitely still be the better route to go. But uh, for those guys who don't have a backhoe, man, this thing, it, it's, it's impressive. And uh, even if you do have a backhoe, I just think the mobility of not having the stabilizers down, I think that's a huge time saver, just being able to move around with the tractor freely. So you guys will be seeing a lot more of this stump bucket on the channel. Um, I think my next video is going to be me using my bucket to grade all these holes back out, to backfill these with my regular bucket. Um, I'll grab the artillery grapple and I'll get all these stumps. We'll shake them out and we'll move them over to the brush pile there. Uh, because we also still have a lot of brush as you can see down here along the edge of my perimeter that I've been meaning to burn as well So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the new artillery and stump bucket I think it's a really fantastic bucket if you guys have the old bucket you could add on those teeth Like I was telling you about for the $49 that they cost I really think it's a worthwhile investment and if you guys do happen to buy them and use them Go ahead and leave me a comment below tell me how you guys like them um, I will leave links to all this stuff in the video description, so be sure to check them out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.